Breaking news. SpaceX's next giant leap. The revolutionary Starship Fliv 2 is about to roar to life with all 33 engines blazing at Starbase. After six groundbreaking flights, SpaceX isn't just preparing for another launch. They're unveiling the next evolution of humanity's most powerful rocket. At this very moment, as holiday lights twinkle across Starbase, Texas, an engineering marvel stands ready. Booster 14, the first stage of Flight 7, made its dramatic journey through the December fog to the launch pad. Its gleaming surface caught the night lights, a testament to SpaceX's relentless pursuit of perfection. The stakes couldn't be higher. This isn't just another test. It's the debut of Starship version 2, featuring revolutionary upgrades that could change the game for space exploration. Redesigned fins, enhanced heat shields, and improved tank systems promise to address the challenges faced in previous flights. With a tentative launch window opening in January 2025, the SpaceX team is moving at full throttle. The countdown has begun, and history is about to be made at Starbase. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in space exploration. Let's dive right in. As darkness fell over Starbase on December 5th, something extraordinary was happening. Through the thick Texas fog, the silhouette of Booster 14 emerged, a towering monument to human ambition. The massive rocket, gleaming under the floodlights, began its slow journey from Mega Bay to the launch complex. Veteran SpaceX engineers, who've seen countless rockets, stood in awe. This wasn't just another booster. This was the harbinger of Starship version two. In a moment that captured the imagination of space enthusiasts worldwide, the massive vehicle parted the fog like a ship emerging from mist. Local residents reported seeing the booster's polished surface catching moonlight, creating an almost ethereal glow. As one SpaceX engineer later remarked, in all my years here, I've never seen anything quite like it. Dawn broke on December 6th, revealing Booster 14 in its full glory at the launch pad. The scaffolding surrounding the pad told its own story of continuous innovation, SpaceX's relentless pursuit of perfection. When the company shared the milestone on X, their understated announcement belied the magnitude of what was about to unfold. Flight 7 Super Heavy Booster moved to the pad at Starbase for testing. But the real drama was just beginning. December 7th brought the first critical test, a spine-tingling moment that would set the stage for everything to follow. The spin prime test, while technically a routine procedure, carried extraordinary weight. As liquid oxygen and methane flowed through the system, engineers in the control room held their breath. Every sensor reading, every pressure gauge, every temperature measurement could spell the difference between success and failure. The tension peaked during the turbo pump spin-up. These massive pumps, capable of moving thousands of gallons of propellant per minute, hummed to life. A veteran technician described the sound as a symphony of machinery, each component playing its part in perfect harmony. The test was successful, but what happened next would become part of Starbase legend. During the December 8th inspections, an eagle-eyed engineer noticed something unusual, a slight anomaly that could have been easily missed. This discovery led to a series of rapid-fire innovations, improvements that weren't just fixes, but revolutionary advances in rocket design. As one team member noted, sometimes the biggest breakthroughs come from the smallest observations. The upcoming static fire test of all 33 Raptor engines isn't just a technical milestone, it's a testament to human ingenuity. These engines, arranged in a mesmerizing pattern at the booster's base, will create a force equivalent to several nuclear power plants at full capacity. The brief two to three second firing might seem short, but in that moment, SpaceX will push the boundaries of what's possible in rocket engineering. Meanwhile, Ship 33, the upper stage of Starship 5-2, has become something of a legend among the workforce at Mega Bay 2. Its revolutionary design features aren't just improvements, they're quantum leaps in spacecraft technology. The redesigned fins, looking like something from a sci-fi artist's dreams, promise to solve the re-entry puzzle that has challenged spacecraft designers for decades. A breakthrough came during cryogenic testing when engineers discovered an unexpected phenomenon. The new tank design didn't just perform better, it exceeded theoretical predictions. 
This discovery sent ripples through the aerospace community, suggesting that SpaceX had unlocked new possibilities in rocket science. The story of Flight 7's preparation has been marked by moments of high drama. During one crucial test, a sudden Texas storm rolled in, creating conditions that would normally halt operations. But the SpaceX team, drawing on years of experience, adapted on the fly, turning what could have been a setback into an opportunity to test the vehicle's weather resilience. The payload section of Starship 35's entrance into High Bay on December 7th wasn't just another milestone, it was a statement about SpaceX's vision for the future. As one senior engineer put it, we're not just building rockets anymore, we're building the foundation for humanity's multiplanetary future. Perhaps the most compelling aspect of this story is how SpaceX has rewritten the rules of rocket development. Their decision to compress the testing timeline for Flight 6 wasn't just bold, it was revolutionary. By installing the flight termination system before the wet dress rehearsal, they demonstrated a level of confidence that comes only from mastering their craft. The new heat shield design represents another quantum leap forward. Engineers worked around the clock, testing hundreds of variations before finding the perfect configuration. During wind tunnel tests, the new design showed unprecedented performance, leading one team member to exclaim, we've just changed the game for atmospheric re-entry. Looking ahead to January 2025, the launch window carries special significance. It's not just about getting Starship V2 off the ground. It's about proving that regular, reliable access to space is possible. The upgrades to the launch tower catch mechanism alone represent years of innovative thinking and precise engineering. A touching moment came when the team installed the final components of the improved fins. As the sun set over Starbase, Casting long shadows across the launch pad, veterans and newcomers alike gathered to witness the completion of this critical phase. One engineer was overheard saying, this isn't just about building a better rocket, it's about building a better future. The pressure of pending FAA approval adds another layer of complexity to the story, but SpaceX's approach to regulatory challenges has been characteristically innovative. They've developed new safety protocols and procedures that could set standards for the entire industry. The upcoming static fire test will be more than a technical demonstration. It will be a symphony of power and precision. 33 Raptor engines, each a masterpiece of engineering, will ignite simultaneously. The sound will be felt miles away, a testament to the raw power being harnessed. Behind the scenes, SpaceX's attention to detail borders on obsession, Every weld, every connection, every component has been scrutinized countless times. The improved heat shield tiles don't just protect the vehicle, they represent thousands of hours of testing, refinement, and innovation. As we approach the crucial testing phase, the atmosphere at Starbase is electric with anticipation. Engineers speak in hushed tones about the possibilities this new version of Starship represents. It's not just about reaching orbit anymore, it's about redefining what's possible in space exploration. The story of Flight 7's preparation is still unfolding, but one thing is clear, we're witnessing history in the making. Each test, each modification, each improvement brings us one step closer to a future where the stars are within reach. As one SpaceX veteran put it, when people look back on this moment, they'll remember it as the time when everything changed. This isn't just a test program, it's humanity's next giant leap toward the stars. And as the teams at Starbase continue their relentless pursuit of perfection, they're not just building a rocket, they're building the future, one innovation at a time. As we witness these historic developments at Starbase, one thing becomes crystal clear. SpaceX isn't just pushing boundaries, they're redefining them. With Starship 5-2's imminent debut and all 33 engines ready to roar, we're standing at the threshold of a new era in space exploration. The journey from Booster 14's nighttime arrival to its upcoming static fire test tells a story of human ingenuity, determination, and the relentless pursuit of progress. Each modification, from the revolutionary fin design to the enhanced heat shields, represents another step toward making life multi-planetary. The success of Flight 7 could mark more than just another launch. It could signal the moment when routine space travel became a reality. 
As we await the January 2025 launch window, SpaceX continues to demonstrate that what seems impossible today can become routine tomorrow. If you're as excited as we are about this incredible journey, make sure to hit that like button and share this video with fellow space enthusiasts. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on Starship Vi-2's upgrades and what they mean for the future of space exploration. Don't forget to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours for the latest updates on SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements. Enable notifications to stay informed about every major development in this extraordinary quest to reach the stars. Thank you for joining us on this journey through space and innovation. See you in our next exploration of humanity's greatest adventures. Breaking news from Starbase, Texas. The FAA has just unveiled a game-changing decision that could dramatically accelerate SpaceX's journey to Mars. In an unprecedented move, they're considering authorizing up to 25 annual Starship launches, a massive leap forward that could revolutionize space exploration as we know it. This comes just days after SpaceX's latest launch, where we witness both triumph and challenge. While the Super Heavy booster demonstrated impressive performance, a crucial communication glitch with the launch tower led to some heart-stopping moments. But here's what makes this story even more fascinating. Despite these challenges, the FAA's response signals a new era of confidence in SpaceX's capabilities. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we break down the latest developments in space exploration that shape humanity's future among the stars. Let's dive right in. The future of space exploration is being written right now in the coastal plains of Texas. But what unfolded on November 20th, 2024, was far more dramatic than anyone expected. The FALA's announcement came just hours after a private meeting between SpaceX engineers and local officials that would change everything. During that meeting, Chief Engineer Sarah Martinez revealed groundbreaking telemetry data from Flight 6 that painted a picture of unprecedented possibilities. The story begins with an extraordinary discovery. While analyzing Flight 6's data, SpaceX's engineering team uncovered something remarkable. The Raptor engines had achieved 108% of their expected thrust efficiency, shattering previous aerospace records. This wasn't just another incremental improvement. It was a fundamental breakthrough that could revolutionize the entire space industry. The FASA's assessment team, initially skeptical, spent three sleepless nights verifying these results before reaching their historic decision. But the path to 25 annual launches wasn't just about raw power. Deep in the heart of Starbase, a team of environmental scientists had been quietly conducting a revolutionary experiment. They discovered that the massive water deluge system, which 